Super Mario! It's me, Mario! video I'll be reacting to one of the videos from the YouTube channel The Game Terrorists. I'm a huge fan of their work, I hope that you will like this video as well. This video came out year 2018 and it's around three years ago and it's about Super Mario So yeah Time up for your physical step on the scale please Time? Mamma mia! Mamma mia! Hello, Internet! Welcome to Game Theory! Hello. Where, you know what? I've got myself a to-do list. Over the last- <laughs> Matt to-do list, the final FNAF timeline, Matt's effect part 2, Undertale, the artificial soft. Uh, Master Chef is actually villain, what? Uh, Master Chief is actually villain, what? Red cameras, uh, San Diego really is. What makes Diaco so good? Will Diaco please sound so me for, for real? Ness and Lucas are the same. Um, sorry, in the other, uh, reality. Seven years what? of this show. Meta, meta so, there have been a lot of lingering mysteries. The story of FNAF, will I ever do Mass Effect Part 2? When will Diet Coke finally sponsor me? And last episode, I finally put one of those to rest, and it felt so good! Mmm, that's a red flag. That's a really big red flag. You you are still making FNAF videos in the year 2021, so... Real good to get that monkey off my back. I say monkey, but really it was a haunted bear robot possessed by a conglomeration of kids' souls. Anyway, even though it's the tail end of summer, let's continue our spring cleaning and check another long-running mystery off this list. The height of everyone's favorite murderous sociopath, Mario Jumpman Mario. What? Do you just say... <clears throat> what? About Mario? Now, you loyal theorists will know that over the history of game theory, it has been one of my biggest headaches. Let's just say it was my version of your princesses in another castle. <laughs> Sorry, Red Pet, Mario's height is actually in another game. Each time I thought I had figured out the perfect methodology to confirm Mario's height, something else would pop up to contradict me. Until, you know, I just eventually gave up. That's yeah, <clears throat> just saying, Wario's height is not very feet tall. Wario's height is not... I'm just saying. That's right, I don't give up too much on this channel, but in this case I realized I was beaten through in the towel. Simply going with the 5 foot 1 inch, 155 centimeter cannon height claimed by Nintendo. I just needed a height for all the physics episodes and figured who was I to oppose the direct word of Mr. Miyamoto. Actually, now that I think about it, opposing official statements by Nintendo is basically the premise of like a quarter of this channel. Long story short, no game in the market. 100% cringe. <laughs> is that absolutely 100% cringe? Oh gosh. Mario franchise has ever proven it. No piece of evidence in all my research has ever allowed me to confirm it. Nothing. Blank slate, nothing. At least until today. That's right, loyal theorists. It's time to get another monkey off my back, and this time it's an overweight red plumber monkey. Because seven years later, we finally have the clue that we need to not just establish Mario's cannon height, but also the cannon heights of literally every other character in the Mushroom Kingdom. Something that, as I understand it, has never truly been done before so get Alrighty. ready to update those fan wikis because it's my goal to give you the definitive answer that no one knew that they needed the scientifically proven heights and weights of key mario characters and in the process we're gonna uncover ourselves the threat to the mushroom kingdom that is far larger and far more threatening than another dumb bowser kidnapping plot earlier this year nintendo released a free update to super mario odyssey called luigi's balloon world luigi's balloon world yeah! It's awesome! Now, show of hands, who hasn't heard of this thing? Of 
course you haven't! It came out in February for a game that everyone had picked to shreds by the end of last October. And for all the rest of you who have heard of it, well, you must watch Donkey. Good stuff, that Donkey. Anyway, in this little mini game, players are able to hide balloons throughout the various kingdoms in the game. Other players then try to find them within a certain time limit. It's almost like Nintendo got tired of placing moons, so they outsourced it to the community. I know what you're up to, Nintendo. First, you had us constructing your levels with Mario Maker. Now you're having us place moons for you, too? Oh, we can't make games that are gonna satisfy the entire fan base. Let them make it for themselves. Actually, you know what? Nintendo crap. <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> Which, fun fact, Minecraft is booming right now. Mm. That's a pretty damn brilliant idea. Well done, Nintendo. Well done. Anyway, besides giving the world an image of Luigi wearing a bow tie, while searching for moons, the game provides the current distance between you and the balloon. Nothing too special there until you notice the distance is written in meters. Real world M meters. And how can we be sure about this? Well, by using this in-game ruler as a reference, it's possible to use pixel measurements to determine that Mario's height is in fact five feet, one inch, or one meter and 55 centimeters. Not oh. only is this a confirmation of Mario's canon height that we've been using for the past two years, but it was determined through a mainline Mario game. This isn't us factoring in the weird scaling of Super Smash Bros. Brawl or that time I used Mario's cameo in NBA Street. This is an actual Mario platformer, which in all of my research is the first time that Nintendo has gone out of their way to do something that could possibly confirm a statistic like this. It would have been so easy for them to make up a fake unit and call it a day, but Meet us, no, meet us. No, not only was the distance written with a real life unit, but the scale lines up perfectly with Mario's Nintendo certified canon height. This, ladies and gentlemen, was intentional. Someone or some group within Nintendo wanted us to find this out and give us the confirmation we've been asking for for years. Wow, so it's like a mm, confirmed. You know what makes that even more interesting? A few years ago on this channel, I covered how Rosalina, first introduced in Super Mario Galaxy, is probably Princess Peach's daughter. I use oh. genetics, physics, lore. To this day, it's the theory I list as one of my all-time favorites I've ever done on this channel. I love it so much these many years later that I even included a mention of it in the Theorist Journal, part of the new merch collection that I launched last week. On sale now, act fast because supplies are limited. Ooh, there's a hidden mystery inside of the merch. Click the link in the description or at the end of the video to grab your Theorist here before it's gone. Look smart, be smart, theory wear. Now all theory wear. Well, chilling aside, what started me down the rabbit hole of that theory to begin with was a storybook hidden in Super Mario Galaxy that seemed to heavily suggest that Rosalina was more than what she seemed. It is to this day the single largest piece of Mario in-game lore, a bit of lore that was never meant to actually be in the game in the first place. The game's director wrote it late at night when no one was around so no one would know what was in it, and then he pitched it specifically to Mr. Miyamoto to try and get it squeezed into the game. That man was Yoshiaki Koizumi, director of Mario Galaxy and, wouldn't you know it, lead producer of Super Mario Odyssey. Wow, that- In short, it looks like us theorists may have an inside man at Nintendo. Someone who's starting to seed out stuff for us to latch onto when it comes to the lore of the Mario universe. I can bet that I'll be paying close attention to what Koizumi brings us in the future. Anyway, armed with the information from Luigi's Balloon World, we can now use pixel measurements of all the character models to compare them to the ruler that is Mario Jumpman Mario. <laughs> Using Mario as a ruler is like... What? What? <laughs> We start by getting official ripped models from the game, many of which can be found on the model's resource. Now, if you've never been there and are in any way interested in learning about game artwork, 3D modeling, sprite work, textures, whatever, the VG resource is an incredible community. From there, we drop those 3D models into a program named Blender. It's free, open source, 3D computer graphics software used for everything from animating films to visual effects and, of course, creating video games. Mario Kart Wii, believe it or not, was the best game to get all these characters into the same place so we can compare pair like with like. Though I will say that I did double check that those measurements were similar across other games as well, including Mario Galaxy, Mario Party, and Mario Sports Mix. So now that you know how it was all done, let's go through the results. Luigi, Wario, and Yoshi all measured up at 5 foot 9 inches tall, 175 oh. centimeters. Peach and Daisy towered above the boys at 6 foot tall, 183 centimeters. Wow, 6 foot tall, 183 cm. I think this is shorter than me, so... Mm, but there, wow, wow, they are amazing. Wow. 
as long as they don't count their crowns. Rosalina is even bigger at 7 foot 3 inches or 221 centimeters, but wow, 7, what? 7 foot 3? Oh my gosh, it's like, she can play basketball. <laughs> This tall. Surprising nobody, Waluigi is the tallest, standing at the absolute ridiculous height of 7 foot 7 inches, or 231 centimeters. So maybe that's why Waluigi can't be included in Smash. We heard that Ridley was too big for years, but let's face it, Waluigi is just enormous. At that height, he's bigger than Yao Ming, one of the tallest NBA players ever who stood at 7 foot 6 inches. And yet for- What? That is taller than Yao Ming? Seriously? That game character, that's impressive. As big as Waluigi is, he's still nowhere close to the tallest human in recorded history, Robert Wadelow, the giant oh, of Illinois, who stood at the incredible height of 8 foot 11 inches or 272 centimeters. That's like a refrigerator and a half. Oh, and uh, in this list, you might be noticing one big omission, both literally and figuratively, Bowser. Yeah, I didn't include him simply because he changes heights. A lot. I mean, a lot, a lot. This guy changes heights more frequently than I change the order of my FNAF timeline. <laughs> Using Bowser as a FNAF reference. <laughs> anyway, I thought about ending this episode here. We've had a lot of long episodes lately. I have a new child to worry about. The in-laws are currently visiting, and I should probably spend some time with them. But you know what? I'm not going to leave you hanging. I mean, seriously, this <gasps> would be a pretty lame episode. Just giving you the heights of a handful of Mushroom Kingdom characters. Where's the big twist? Where's the big reveal? The surprise conclusion? That so what moment that I like to end all these episodes on. So I'm deciding to linger in the closet a bit longer, which I swear has nothing to do with me trying to avoid talking to the in-laws about the Italian deli down the street for like the um time just because it's an Italian deli doesn't make it the best deli ever I'm sorry so anyway Ooh, Mario is sad mm, Mario I am hanging out in the closet a bit longer to find everyone's weights too and that yielded something that was much more surprising first let's talk about methodology now obviously unlike frame rates or pixel measurements there's no way to slow down a video game and perfectly determine the mass of a character however back in my blue shell episode I mentioned that in Mario Kart 8 deluxe that each character was assigned an invisible number that corresponded to their weight Mario is listed with a weight of six and is known to have a mass of about 90 kilograms or about 198 pounds there is around Damn. or each weight unit in the game was equal to 15 kilograms or 33 pounds. This also checked out with the weight Austin calculated in his science video science? using a very different methodology of water propulsion from Super Mario Sunshine. So overall, while it may not be 100%- You are the 99%. Why not 100%? Correct, you gotta appreciate that it's pretty darn close for the weight of a bunch of fictional characters who only just now got associated with a real world metric for the first time in nearly 40 years. And yes, before you start commenting, but MatPat, these ratings are incorrect. Baby Peach and Baby Rosalina are listed with a weight value of zero. Zero? Clearly they have mass. Clearly they have mass. This should not be possible. Unsubscribe. Yeah, I heard you in the aftermath of the previous video, and I recognize that a few of the racers are given a mass of zero in the game's weight units. But did you stop to consider this? Each racer's mass is going to be rounded to the nearest whole number. So conceivably, oh. a racer weighing in under half of 33 pounds, what, 16 and a half pounds or 7.49 kilograms, those racers would be rounded down and rated as a zero. And having a newborn weigh less than 16 pounds, take it from Daddy pad over here, that is perfectly normal. In fact, you want them weighing under 16 pounds, otherwise they're gonna have a hard time squeezing through the things that they have to squeeze through to. Uh, uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Son, we have to talk, all right? This is about um, human, uh, homo species stuff, so yeah. That's all for us. Birth is weird. Anyway, is this methodology super precise? No, but until super we're able man. to strap all the characters with water jetpacks, rounding like this is what we're gonna have to work with. So, using this Mario Kart chart, I was able to come up with a rough mass for everyone. We just covered how Mario weighs in at 198 pounds, and his brother Luigi is the same. Sure, he's thinner, but he's also taller, meaning that he's also weighing in at around 198 pounds. You know how you're never supposed to ask a girl for her- One does not simply ask girls about their weight age or her weight but well, why ask when you can stalk her online and use hidden measurements kept on obscure websites Pe what each is clocking in at 132 pounds or 60 kilograms i mean seriously what why what 
Rosalina may or may not be Peach's daughter, but she certainly didn't inherit her mother's petite physique, considering that our star princess here tips the scales at 231 pounds, or 105 kilograms. Waluigi is a bit heavier at 264 pounds, 120 kilos. Wow, that's heavier than me. And rounding out the top, literally and figuratively, to nobody's surprise, is Wario. Which is not 10 feet tall. Which, just saying, is not 10 feet tall. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> At 330 pounds, 150 kilograms. That's now, crazy. here's where that information goes from mildly interesting to alarming. You see, I was curious, so I decided to do one last calculation. Each character's body mass index, or BMI. All you have BMI. to do to calculate it is take the person... BMI is not completely correct, but it's a good estimate of a body mass index. It's mass in kilograms and divided by the person's height in meters squared. Now, why would I want to do this? Well, according to the Center for Disease Control, BMI scores are indicators of your levels of fitness. So I wanted to determine who was roughly the fittest in the Mushroom Kingdom. Roughly, roughly. It's not an exact micro me measurement, but it's a good rough estimate. Uh, estimate. Uh, heck, if the metric is good enough for we fit, it's good enough for me. So a BMI score of less than 18.5 is considered underweight. 18.5 to 25 is considered normal. BMI of 25 to 30 is considered overweight. 30 to 40 is considered obese. And above 40 is morbidly obese. And it's here that I discovered what is perhaps the Mushroom Kingdom's biggest threat. No, it's not an anthropomorphic turtle dragon with magical abilities trying to take over a kingdom. It's not even the oblivious princess wielding an army of mindless fungus servants to maintain her rule. No, the biggest threat to everyone in the Mushroom Kingdom is their eating habits. Habits. What? At their current weight, according to their BMI ratings, every character is in an unhealthy range. Daisy and Whoa. Peach, underweight. Luigi, overweight. Mario is obese, and Wario is morbidly obese. So, um... No one's in the green. No one has a healthy body type. Well, no one except for one. Waluigi. Yeah! You heard that right. Everyone's favorite purple string bean here is in the healthy range. With a BMI of 22.1, he may have been rejected by the Smash Brothers roster, but he wasn't rejected by the Center for Disease Control. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Waluigi's big secret and the Mushroom Kingdom's biggest dilemma. Because, let's face it, if Waluigi's body shape is what defines healthy in your universe, well, then yeah, you got yourself some serious problems. But hey, it's worth mentioning that Rosalina is healthy too. It just wasn't as fun or dramatic to include her in that big conclusion, but yeah, she's in there too. Yeah, keep healthy, keep fit, keep healthy, all right? Everyone that's watching this video right now, please do keep fit to keep healthy, okay? Just, she's not memeish enough. Get memeish, Rosalina. Take a page from Waluigi's book. Look at this guy. He is, he is a walking hot mess, but he is endearing. Meme King Waluigi, all bow before me. But hey, did you know that Game Theory merch is now available for all sorts of body shapes and canon heights? Extra small to extra, extra, extra large. But not just shirts either, but we've got an incredible heavy duty backpack, super fun socks that are like my favorite socks in my wardrobe right now because they're super bright. They have a lot of personality. They are also incredibly soft. A pop socket for your phone, which is like the simplest, best device that I've ever had on an electronic, like ever. If you don't like any of the merch that you see, boom, we're also offering a theorist pack. Now, anything can become Game Theory merch. It's kind of like the Nintendo strategy. You don't like what we're doing? Well, then do it yourself. Here you go. Make your jacket a Game Theory jacket. Make your hat a Game Theory hat. Make your cat a Game Theory cat. Disclaimer, please do not staple or sew this patch onto your cat. Collars would probably be best. And not... Yeah, they will definitely... Scratch Only you. are you going to be getting some of the highest quality YouTuber merch around. Trust me, we care a lot about this stuff, and we bought a ton of other people's stuff to see how it compares, and let's just say there's a lot of meh items out there. This time, it comes with a mystery. Hidden amongst the merch is a puzzle that you can solve. The first clue to start you on your quest is hidden in one or multiple of these merch items. If you don't want to buy anything, well then no problem. You can team up with friends online, and you can still solve the puzzles. In fact, the whole thing was designed to get you working together as a theorist community. I thought that would be a really nice fun puzzle to bring us all together so check it out via the link in the description or the link that you see on screen right now creatorinc.com slash theorywear i personally challenge you to get the white shirt i wanted to help brighten up gamer wardrobes which are always black so i added in a white shirt it's currently the one that's not selling the best but i think it looks really good now if you'll excuse me i've hidden out in the closet way too long yeah great italian deli meats whoa i'm so excited don't get me wrong italian deli meat is delicious but it's not the be-all end-all here, people. There are plenty of good restaurants around. Just saying. 
<sighs> All right, I'm going. Yeah, you have to go. I can't leave Stephanie down there alone. All right, <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. All right, so thank you so much for watching this video. This video came out from the YouTube channel, The Game Theorists, and I really hope that you watch more of their videos. Their videos are very interesting to watch. Yeah. And yeah, if you do like my videos, please consider to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and comment down below if you have, if you have anything to share about us. So, thank you, and I'll see you next time. In the meantime, remember, over there. But hey, that's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Super Mario!